So by now you've heard about the Spring Break Smackdown in Panama City Beach, featured on the Sean Hannity Show. And Hannity has been right to be outraged, hasn't he, by the cultural depravity, by the buckwild Spring Breakers, and even worse, the criminals who crashed Panama City Beach, committed violent crimes, and bolted. We even had some local personalities and uh, council members go on Sean Hannity's show and express their moral outrage. But I've been saying it's not enough just to be outraged. We've got to be upset at the right people. I think it's wrong. I think it's un-American for what's happening right now. We've got local politicians punishing residents for the crimes of outsiders who crashed Panama City Beach and then bolted. And uh, I've become a little more worried lately about buckwild politicians than I have buckwild students. So I went down to the city council and I had a chance to speak to them for just a few minutes. Back to the buckwild politicians, I'd like to address Keith Curry. Uh, I think that it is um, inappropriate, Mr. Curry, considering news reports of belligerent behavior and racial slurs uh, in restaurants. And I would like to ask you to recuse yourself from any spring break votes because it's a lot like the pot calling the kettle the N-word. I'm asking you to recuse yourself from any votes on spring break from a councilman who behaves worse than spring breakers themselves. Would you agree to that? No. Okay, then we've got an N-word calling councilman who will be voting on the behavior of spring breakers. I'm clear. So about 45 minutes later, Councilman Curry, after leaving for a few minutes and coming back, addressed me while I was sitting in the audience. And uh, Councilman Curry had a few things to say after he interrupted the mayor. Take a listen to this. May I have one moment, ma'am? Yes. I would like to respond to uh, Bernie Thompson. You know, um, my name is Keith Curry, and I live at 134 Coral Drive. And you can come by and see me anytime, and specifically you, Bernie Thompson, uh, because your alleged allegations of alleged alleged allegations is the tired, trite, shock jock stuff that you put out. Alleged allegations of alleged allegations? I didn't make that up. As a matter of fact, WJHG reported that story in January of 2013. I didn't make that up. But Councilman Keith Curry wasn't through with me yet. Yes, Mr. Thompson, let me respond to your in and throwing around of N words. You need to be part of the solution. Shut up and present some solutions to the problem. If you don't like the way your political leaders, your elected officials are representing you, put your big boy pants on. You need to go down to the supervisor elections office and run for office if you can do a better job. That was his response? To shut up? To put on my big boy pants? And to uh, start telling me what I need to do? That was his response? for alleged allegations of alleged allegations of using the N-word in a restaurant in town? Look, Councilman Curry, this is still America, and we can still petition our government for a redress of grievances the way we see fit, as citizens, as journalists, or as politicians. And I'll tell you right now, uh, I, I think that you need to be reminded, as do many local politicians, that you do not lord over us the rule of law still applies in America, not the law of rulers. And when a politician tells a citizen to shut up, I think that the politician has forgotten uh, his role in society. Now, I stood up at that point and I asked the mayor, can I have just a moment to respond? And here's what happened. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Item number six. Let's don't do that, Mr. Thompson. No, let, let's not do that. If, if, you, if you guys... Come on over to 134 Coral Drive and we'll talk. <laughs> I'll be glad to. If you guys want to talk, you can do it after the meeting outside. What? What? Was that a challenge? Uh, did the mayor really just tell me to meet him outside? This was a surreal moment for me. I mean, the mayor says, no, we're not going to do that. You guys can talk outside. And I've got a politician standing on stage basically saying, yo, 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 come on to my house and we'll talk. I mean, like, like what? Like a challenge? Like a, like a fight after school? Like a, a rap contest? Maybe a rap off, perhaps? This is the buckwild politician or the, the buckwild cultural 
problems that they're trying to address. Well, I did. I went up to Keith Curry right after the meeting, and I got a chance to talk to him, and he wasn't too happy with me. We talked face to face, and there were a lot of police officers standing around after the meeting, and he told me to shut up. He said, I don't want to talk to you. You're old news. And then he told me that I better stop coming after him. You better stop coming after me, or I'm going to come after you. This is what the politician, Keith Curry, told me right after the meeting, face to face. You better, and he said it three times, I'm coming after you. And I said, what do you mean by that? You better tell me what you mean by that. And just a few moments later, uh, the police actually intervened and stopped us from talking uh, to each other. Now, later, after getting conflicting reports, I decided to um, take him up on his offer, on his invitation to go visit him. Come talk anytime. So I even brought a six pack of beer. And uh, we'll go see what he wants if he wants to talk. Oh, pocket constitutions. I brought him those because he wants to talk about Thomas Jefferson, too, I think. Councilman Keith Curry's house. Or not. We'll see. The doorbell. Let's try and knock I hope he meant it, because I brought, you know what I bought? I bought Fat Tire Beer. You ever had Fat Tire Beer? Fat Tire Beer rocks. I bring it on the beach, but I'm not going to be allowed to bring it on the beach come uh, March because of Keith Curry's vote. And finally, somebody did answer the door, but it wasn't Keith Curry. I've had conflicting reports Keith Curry offered for me to come visit him at 134 <laughs> Coral Drive. He said he lives here. Is he around? Uh, he doesn't live here, brother. <laughs> he doesn't live here. He doesn't live here. That's, That's the weirdest thing in the world. Yep. <laughs> now, am I losing my mind, or did he say he lived at that address? My name is Keith Curry, and I live at 134 Coral Drive. He did. He gave that address. Look, there is so much wrong here that I want to point out. One, the, the rule of law has been supplanted, not only on the national level and the state level, but right here on the local level. The rule of law has been supplanted by the law of rulers. Number two, it's unacceptable for a politician to get hostile with a citizen journalist. It's unacceptable. And number three, the councilman in public twice gave somebody else's address and said, you come to my house and we'll talk. Now, here's my question to you. Have enough of us had enough of them yet? Have enough of us had enough of them yet? If you have, if you're fed up with politicians and cronies punishing residents for the crimes of spring breakers who crashed spring break, committed violent crimes and left, I invite you to join me at MyFreedomRadio.com, MyFreedomRadio.com, where we can link arms and stand together and say this is unacceptable, you and me. Thanks for being with me, and I'll see you soon.